All right, we're going to have two different modes for this video here. Uh, the first one is going to be story mode, and then the second one is going to be uh, review mode. So, without further ado, let's get into it. As you can see, I got a package. Let's put this off to the side for now. Uh, just know that I went through hell trying to get those. Over the past couple of weeks, your boy been busy just knocking out Gatorade Customs. I've been doing this stuff for like almost eight months now. I'm actually wearing them right now. But I converted mine into like a bread colorway slash top three with the SBB on the other side. So that was uh, my little spin on it. But the most asked question that I ever get is how do the midsoles hold up on these? So I wanted to kind of dead that right now. All right. As you guys can see, we have, uh, you know, very minimal wear on it. Very minimal wear. There is some, like, discoloration from nicks and stuff that I've had. Um, specifically right here, if you can see it against that white light, I apologize. But but all in all, they've been holding up really, really well. Send a shout out for everybody out there who's actually taken an order from me and gotten them done within that eight-month time span. But um, uh, your boy is still collecting and still editing. I apologize for the uploads, but um, it's just a lot of Gatorades. So that's been keeping me busy. Now to the actual story part of this whole entire story. As you see, I got a pair of shoes right here. This is, this shoe I'm letting you know right now has cost me almost 900 bucks. It's kind of messed up that it has come to this, but it is partly due to, to my error as well. So I put a post out there that I was looking for a specific shoe to complete the shattered backboard pals that I got up there. The last ones that I needed were the satin. So I put a little post out there that I was looking for them. Somebody hit me up and uh, said I got a pair for you. Sent me pictures, everything was A-OK. -okay. He sent the PayPal invoice and we had got it all done. Um, I did tell him to try to get the cost a little bit lower as I had somebody who I get prepaid shipping labels through not gonna mention his name um, but it's just a guy who I get prepaid shipping labels through and I've ordered through him before and I'm able to get flat rate for a pretty cheap cost so so I place an order I get that yeah I get that label emailed out to myself and then I forward an email to uh, the person I bought the satins from so that they can ship it off prepaid uh, and these shoes actually got uh, unfortunately mailed to a customer that I had worked with on a previous Gatorade order. I got in contact with this guy as soon as I figured out that uh, it had shipped off with the wrong label when I was trying to update tracking, and I could not because the tracking numbers were different. The thing that was stupid was the actual label that was put on there that was used before, was over, it, was, it was exactly that, it was used before, so the tracking number already said delivered. So now I'm thinking, how does the post office even have the ability to ship this out with a label that is already, I really can't imagine it, them actually shipping that out when the tracking number, they scan it in and it shows that it's already been delivered. But maybe they thought it was getting rerouted or something like that and it was getting sent off again. Cause this was literally like a week ago. That's that's why I had accidentally forwarded the, e the, um, the wrong sh uh, shipping label is because it was so recent in my email listing um, and I had used that label to ship him a pair of Gatorades, and it turns out that it was the exact same label that he had put on the satin. So he had another pair of shoes delivering to him, and as soon as I had figured that out, I contacted uh, USPS, tried to return to sender or anything like that. I couldn't because of the tracking number status already being labeled as delivered. So then I'm like, how are you guys, how are you guys getting checkpoints out through this? And he's like, well, it shows up in their scanning reports, but it doesn't show up in this actual tracking number. Um, so we're able to see continuous scans after that even though it's already said delivered. So I contact the dude, the, the customer, and I'm like, hey, this, which I'm also not going to say his name. Everybody's saying I should blast him, and I've already attempted to do that, but it's not going to do anything now. That's why I had to buy these and had them shipped out to me as well. Now that I know that I'm not getting them back and there's no way of me getting them back, um, long story short is they got delivered to him. Um, we have a geo tag from USPS that shows that it got delivered to that specific address. It didn't get delivered to a neighbor's address or anything like that. And we've already established that it was a safe delivery drop-off because it's the actual customer's mom's address. And so signatures don't matter in this case scenario either um, because it wasn't him that actually had signed for it. So there's no way for me to actually say or prove that he has these shoes because he's obviously not going to say I have these shoes but long story short 
It was just a customer that I had worked with who now has a pair of satin shattered backboards. So, shouts out to you. Um, you know, do whatever you want to with them. You know, I can't, I can't charge back the person who shipped them off to me because they were a legit pair and... Um, I had actually just messed up and got him the wrong label. So that's unfortunately the circumstance that I have to deal with. Just kind of take the L on this one. Meek did take another L. We got a W right here, so I ain't even worry about that no more. So let's get straight into this shit. Un yeah, this is already opened up as well, so I'm just going to continue opening the rest of it up and take it out. This one was actually secured by the homie JP Hype on Instagram, so I'll definitely put a plug out there for him. He's he's had me on, on shoe releases before, and I'm very, very lucky that he's had me, and now he's got me again, so shouts out to you. Now let's get into review mode and get this over to the table. Let's take a look at these shoes. All right, so what we have here is the Jordan 1 Retro High Satin Shattered Backboard Exclusive Women's Colorway Style Code AV3725-010 Colorway Black, Black Starfish Sale Retail price was $160 and the release date was May 5th Also known as Cinco de Mayo 2018 And as you guys know this was a highly coveted release Due to, the, due to the crazy amount of hype the Shattered Backboard colorway had caused with the amount of quality coming out in 2015, this exclusive women's colorway definitely made quakes because Jordan Brand was making satin colorways of the Breads and the Royals and people were thinking what's going to be the next colorway. Um, some people thought it would have been the Chicago, but then they came out with the shattered backboard colorway and this was highly controversial just because it included leathers and was automatically compared to the leather quality of the regular shattered backboard which everybody does that with every single shoe that ever comes out now till this day so without further ado let's crack into these guys oh my god oh my god these are fucking breathtaking whoa Pardon my French, but holy shit. Okay, let's take it out. Bam. Oh my God. This is ridiculously breathtaking in person. The translucent outsole just pops immediately on this thing. This is automatically, without a doubt, my number one shoe pick of the year already already and you guys know the shoes that i've been copping and i have my eyes on wow this is ridiculous oh it's still got the it's still, it's still got that factory smell on it the satin on here is just even the sock liner the sock liner is just luxurious man i wish these were numbered I, w I really wish these were numbered just to know how many pairs are out there that's crazy I do like the transition from the leather lace holes to the metal aglets on the satin I think that's really really a nice touch yo the padding on this is ridiculous it's ridiculously crazy let me take the other shoe out Wow I know that some people were having quality differences with the leather I would definitely say the side the side panels are just in my scenario they're just like reverse shattered backboards nothing crazy actually the leather on the the black leather that's on here is a lot more plush than the side panel one thing to note with the embroidered check is that this is actually a bubble if you can see in between those threadings you can see like a little bubble that's inside of them so this isn't all threading it's actually just you know wrapped up on top of uh, an insert that was stitched on here. Well, we want to take a look at these laces. These laces are super, super soft as well. You can even feel the difference just inside of the bag. Um, these are made out of satin, I believe. Not a lot of other people have said that they are satin, but um, I believe it's the exact same satin material that's on. I don't, I don't know if I can ever bring myself to wear these now. 
I was, I had my heart set on wearing these so that I could not wear my regular shatter backboards given the resale value. I much rather want to keep the resale value of the shatter backboards as opposed to the satin ones. But who knows, the satin ones, they're like, they're just so luxurious. I really want to keep these on ice now and might just rock these because these will kind of decrease in value but these will definitely drop in value if i undead stock this i don't know that's a very very hard one to pick between but i know that i'm gonna be staring at these for a while before i actually wear them so stay tuned next week for another episode and meek shoes out Squaw!